Greetings to you in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome to the 13th day of our journey from wilderness to Calvary. In the Gospel of Matthew chapter 20 verses 17 to 20 is the passage that we are going to reflect today. My dear brothers and sisters, we are going to reflect on this one verse which we read that says, See, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be delivered over to the chief priests and the scribes, and they will condemn him to death and deliver him over to the Gentiles to be mocked, flocked, and crucified, and he will be raised on the third day. My dear brothers and sisters, before we understand this small verse, let me give you a real incident which happened to one of the lady whom I knew in the previous parish where I was working. A lady of 32 years old was affected with the third stage of cancer. And this lady was suffering from this cancer and the doctors have given up a hope telling she would die. And I knew the pain that she was going through because the death was in front of her. And she had a son, a husband to be taken care of. And she had a huge property. And she began to think, the days are going to come close to, to my death. I'm going to die. And I have to do something to my child and my husband. She sold off all the property and bought a beautiful house, set up the whole thing. And then she even told the husband, you can get married to another woman because I have, you have a child to take care of. And then settled all the bank accounts. And then she prepared everything. And all of a sudden, she suffered severely for three days. And then she was dead. My dear brothers and sisters, she underwent death, keeping her death in front of her. She prepared everything else before she could die. No doubt she was also prepared spiritually. And I think the words that we read today, the Son of Man will be delivered over to the chief priests and scribes, and they will condemn him to death and deliver him over to the Gentiles to be mocked, flocked, and crucified, and he will be raised to the third day. These words, or this phrase, that Jesus is speaking in the Gospel of Matthew is for the third time. My dear brothers and sisters, just imagine when death, death, death was engripped into Jesus wholly, you know, his whole focus, his whole concentration was on, was on to death. And after his death, what are the things that are going to happen? Who is going to continue this mission? And that's why secretly he was telling his disciples, constantly warning them, that I will be killed, I will be flogged, I will be humiliated and then put to death on the cross. My brothers and sisters, notice this. On the day of baptism, Jesus, a voice was heard to Jesus saying, this is my beloved son, listen to him. And from that day, you know, a revelation was given to Jesus that his mission was to die and save all of us. And that's why everything that Jesus was speaking to his disciples was in preparation of that. But there was also a lot of pain that Jesus was going through, yet he was happy to take up the cross, the humiliation, the death. Reason. What was the reason that Jesus was ready to take up this cross, take up this pain? Because there are reasons because Jesus gloried in the cross. He was happy to take up the cross because the firstly, it was the Father's will. It was the Father's will that Jesus has to take up this death, take up this cross, take up this humiliation. Why? Because it was going to please his Father. And the second reason why Jesus had to take up this cross was to gain many believers to gain all of us, to be his children, to be with him where he has been to. 
my brothers and sisters. The third reason was that he was to be made the author of man's salvation. That Jesus is going to be the author of salvation for all of us. And he's the first one to enter into heaven. And later, we are all going to go back, go behind him to reach heaven. The fourth one, the fourth reason why he loved the cross, he loved the death, was because... He wants to destroy the power of evil over man of their death. He was going to destroy death. He was going to destroy or defeat evil and destroy death for the humanity. To have a life. Life after a death. And the fifth reason was he wants to reconcile all men with God. And reconcile man to man. The heavens which were closed with the sin of Adam and Eve were opened or is going to be opened because of Jesus taking up the cross. And the last reason is he was to return to his former glory. Jesus had all these reasons in front of him. And that's why it made very easy for Jesus, although there was pain for him and still he loved the cross, because of these reasons. He had a goal. He had a mission to love the cross, to accept the death. death. My dear brothers and sisters, every sacrifice that we make during this season of Lent, these 40 days, has a fruit to bear, has a fruit to be given to all of us by God. Just like God the Father has rewarded Jesus with a glory, with a, a, a position at the right side of his Father, so too, every sacrifice, every penance, every good work, every alms giving that we are going to do is going to benefit us and is going to get a fruit to all of us. Remember, Jesus had this torture within him, the suffering within him, yet he had also a, a, a mission to be accomplished, a fruit which was waiting for him, that is resurrection and life. So also every suffering of ours that we are going through this season of Lent, has a fruit to bear, a, a glory to be witnessed. May we all wait for this such glory and never ever give up during our, uh, uh, never ever give up our Lenten practices. May God assist all of us. Amen. If you like this piece of video, kindly like, share and don't forget to give your comments which will help us, boost us and encourage us to go further. Kindly also contribute to our brother Vijay who is trying to take up this channel, promote this channel, the word of God throughout the world by your little contribution. God bless you and have a wonderful day.